Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one is in Shasta County, California. It's just a hair over an acre. There's a bunch of big trees. There's a little street that goes up to it. It's in an area called Ponderosa Private Road uh, Subdivision. And this area has a bunch of one-acre properties. I've owned numerous ones in the past, bought and sold them. And uh, people that bought them from me have been very happy with them because you can take an RV in there and go for it. And come in for the summer, grow some marijuana, and take off for the winter. And a lot of the people that buy these properties from are doing that in the past. There's some remnants in these properties of where people were growing. Um, the whole neighborhood seems to be growing at some time in the past. You could see a whole lot of tracks from that. And that to me, that just says it's a it's a pocket of freedom. Whether you want to grow or not, that's like you can get away with what you want to get away with in this neighborhood. Um, so let's take a look at it. And... Um, a lot of guys have been picking on me in the comments here for posting California properties. <laughs> People either love them or hate them, right? But uh, so this one I think is a little bit more freedom in California than in lots of them. We got San Francisco here, we got Sacramento over here, and then you go up the valley and you got Shasta up here. This is the, the Central Valley. Shasta is kind of the foothills, the north end of the valley. Redding's over here, Redding's main town, Redding's on Interstate 5. So if you're coming from the south, which most people probably would be <clears throat> going up this way, probably coming up the five and then coming over the property that's it's over in here. So I wanted to pull that map up and let's jump into the listing, kind of point out the area that we're in. So this is Shasta County and uh, we've got some some pictures. It's next to uh, it's, it's, it's a piece of woods. You know, there's a little street. Um, I don't know. Some of these pictures don't don't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> they don't help a whole lot. I hired a guy to go take pictures of this property. I just hired him ten minutes ago when I was looking at the property. So maybe in a week or two, I'll have better pictures of this property, drone shots and and photos and things and some other ones in the area. So here's uh, some street view of the kinds of trees you've got in the area. This is a kind of the road, the turnoff area. And uh, here's, this is the, the road coming up to it, but not down the actual road. You don't have street view down the actual road. Okay, so here's some lot lines. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's the one acre lot. Neighbors got a house. I guess there's a house on either side. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe a greenhouse there too. As you get into the back sides of these properties, I can't play with that map. It's just a picture. We'll do it here. So let's pull up the map. So it's your general squarish kind of property with a street coming right up the side and a house down to the south of it and a street coming up through here too, kind of towards the back side and a bunch of trees. And so let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's like a, a little greenhouse kind of thing, but maybe different parts of this neighborhood. So here's like you know straw bale kinds of grows, greenhouses, Fencing the deer out, more greenhouses, smaller greenhouse, um, you know, straw bale grows. I can pick on these properties because they're properties I used to own. <laughs> so here's more grows, more grows. Um, you know, just guys, guys growing around in the woods. They put these straw bales to keep the keep the moisture in. You don't have to constantly water them so you get the idea there's just grows scattered throughout this neighborhood in this whole area 365 degrees around the area so you probably don't want to go in here and tour the properties during um you know grow season later summer early fall it's probably dangerous to go be a new person walking around in there but uh winter time and uh, spring and things like that, it's, I think it's pretty open. You go meet the neighbors and say hi. I'm, I'm in line. I'm not dangerous and all that kind of stuff. You, all, you guys all watch each other. Not going to rob each other, and just uh, go for it, right? So there's the property, one acre. I just lowered the price. Um, I believe it's the cheapest one in the area, cheapest one in the county. Um, I was just looking at Zillow. We can pull that up. Let's pull up Zillow. Zillow, Shasta County, California. If I can spell. 
So I figured out my bad spelling. <laughs> Beautiful thing with computers. So I got it down to any size land, just land. Um, let's get rid of this potential stuff just for sale. For sale, any size land. Um, oh, one day, 5,000 bucks. So no, I'm not the cheapest property in the county, but someone's asking 5,000 bucks for a 10,000 square foot lot. That'd be like a uh, you know, fifth of an acre or something. And then 9,900 bucks is the cheapest one of size, one acre. That that one's also posted on ruralvacantland.com. That's Patricia Zach's property. She's got a good looking property too. So if you're going into this neighborhood, um, and go look at a couple of them. Go look at a couple of the properties in the neighborhood. Don't just look at the one I'm talking about. Um, so this one's in the same neighborhood. Um, that one's smaller. These are all smaller, no access weirdnesses. These ones have been on the market forever, don't have any access. Um, and then I think this is I think this is uh, the same neighborhood. They're asking 17 grand. 16 or 17 grand for the same neighborhood that I'm talking about, same size properties. So that's that's what the market's kind of looking like. So I'm asking 8,900 bucks. Just lowered the price a little bit on this one. We'll get some more professional pictures on there soon. There's a buy it now. I just updated that. If you want to go for it, there's you can fill out title, tax, contact information, and things. Um, if you want to do some kind of payment plan, let me know how much you want to do down, how much you want to do a month, and I'll figure out how many months from there to to uh, to see you know how much I'd like to get it to work and see if we got a deal. And so there's a bunch of GPS coordinates. You click on this GPS coordinates up here, and it'll give you driving directions of property. If you click on it when you're in your phone, if you click on it in your computer, it'll bring up a map, and then you can uh, you can play with the map and look at it from there. Maybe we should do that and look at the topography. Let's do that while we're here. So I'm clicking on that. It brings up Google Maps and shows you where the property is. It's loading. It's going to be right behind my head. Maybe I should get my head out of the way. So here's uh, let's zoom in on it. So there's like the intersection, right? And then there's this house. Just doesn't. Yeah, so here's the intersection. Here's the intersection. Stagecoach Drive and Crockett. There's a house to the south. This pin is not in the right area. It should be like up here. Um, but this looks like their driveway. And then I'm not sure if there's a driveway... It's not going to be street view in here. I'm not sure if there's a driveway coming in. Um, but what I what I should do, so you guys bear with me a sec. Parts of this neighborhood are covered in um, Bing Maps street view. If you guys don't ever use Bing Maps, sometimes Bing Maps has street coverage in rural areas. So if you're shopping vacant land and you're shopping land all over the place, like I assume you are when you're watching this video, don't just look on Google. Look on Bing Maps. Look on Map uh, Apple. Look at look at lots of these. Look at this. This might be Street View. Crockett. Um. I think this is it. Let's see if we can zoom in and make sure. Yeah, so here's the intersection. And then let's um, call it street side. Oh, no, so this is, this doesn't, they're not going up Houston, but um, we can look at it from the sides and we, we could look down the street maybe. Yeah, okay, so here's the intersection. And so the neighbor's house would be here. Your property would be up this one. This is all Crockett. Let me look at this again. So this would be facing north. This would be facing north. No, so this is the street coming along. And, oh, we lost the spot. We want street side at the intersection so we can look up the street. Okay, so this is Crockett that we're standing on, and this is the um, the property would be up here. So that the street does this 
this bend and you see these nice beautiful pine trees a good carpet of pine needles below it i mean it just looks it looks uh, it reminds me of northern michigan i grew up in northern michigan you know nice pine trees like this um so you got the house here and this would be your your road so you go up this road past this house the camera guy didn't go up this road so i can't take you up there but i can take you down the side street um and we can drive past the neighbor's house and get an idea of what these trees look like and this woods looks like. So here's the neighbor's house in here and they're, they're set up their homestead. They got some privacy you can't really see in there with the trees so well. I'm looking at these pictures and I'm just smelling pine needles. <laughs> I like the smell of pine needles. Can't smell it through the computer, but I, maybe it's just like from memory, the smell's coming in. Yeah, so there's there's the house, that's the neighbor's house, and the property is gonna be behind it. It's like in those trees behind it, it's gonna be this property. And that looks like a, a propane tank. It looks like they're using a propane tank to probably heat the place, um, get propane delivered out here. So yeah, this is the kind of woods that the the property is in and um, it's just a beautiful area it's one acre nice beautiful area you can go for it um, so let's go back I should put a link to Bing Maps on this property but you guys can go search it on your own um, elevation 2695 feet and uh, property tax $116 a year and it comes from one of my little companies to you. I'll transfer it over. There's a local post office nine miles away. Elementary schools like nine miles away. Country store nine miles away, a gas station. It's a Walmart that's 49 minutes away. You gotta go to Reading to get the bigger supplies. So a little, little local stuff nine miles away in Oak Run and the bigger stuff is like 50 minute run. Okay, so there's the property. There's me and um, I'm just I'm excited to hear stories from whoever ends up with this property, how they use it, how they go make it happen, and yeah, I'm also excited to see the pictures. Picture guy should come in here pretty soon with some with some good pictures and drone shots and stuff. It might be snowing right now. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but it might be might be covered in snow, and uh, but it won't take too long for that to melt off. So if you're interested in this property, go take a look at it. Let me know and. Um, take it from there. Luke Smith, ruralvacantland.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and I'll keep showing you more properties.